shout out, shout out to True Love. She, she got me a box cutter. That's right, with a rather large volume of boxes arriving right now, this is just gonna help expedite everything. I just gotta be careful, because this is a lot sharper than the other knife. All right, we are gonna go work on the lights in the studio. Here we go. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three, test one, two, three. Now we're in business. Can you notice a difference? Again, what am I always saying? We talked about innovation about 10 days ago on the blog. It's all about the lighting and video production. So I'm gonna turn these off just so you can see the difference on and off, these little teeny tiny lights. So here we go, you ready for this? So we're gonna dim them. Oh, there they go. And then back on, oh yeah, can you see it? I know it's, it's subtle. There's, video production is all about little subtle changes that make a huge difference to the human eye, what I like to call eye candy, okay? Just move that shoe real quick. So there they are, oh, coming along nice. We're not done yet, I still have some more lights, but I think I will save them for later. And now I'm on to fixing the gimbal that I use to hold the GoPro. It's, it's, uh, it's becoming loose and yeah, I don't know if you can notice, but when I've been using it over the past week, the camera is just shaking just a little bit. So I gotta tighten some very small screws. Let's do that. Oh gosh, I love it. I love it. Oh man. All right, here we go. Boom. Oh, he tried. I'm gonna, I'm, I better go run. I gotta go run, but it's not a long run. Yep, perfect. Because we'll be, it's a good time, basically, because me and Mike will be down. Have a sparkling water. Yes, that's what I'm having. Thank you. Isn't this fun? So delicious. You can have that. Those same snackies over there. Mm-hmm. Mm. <clears throat> okay, before. Before we fix the gimbal, hold on, I think the camera's a little low, hold on. All right, here we go. Here's the gimbal, gonna fix that here in one minute, but first, a shout out to the letter that arrived from Australia. You know who you are. He, this gentleman basically started uh, running about 15 months ago and has been following the blog for the last 15 months. Thank you, by the way. And he's made some huge strides in his running. And anyway, just shout out, thank you so much. For, I, there's nothing like getting a little snail mail every now and then. We get inundated with so many emails, it's just nice to have some real physical paper. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can't dissect this gimbal and fix it up before we go out for the run. Here we go. Quick gear check for today's easy run. My raid light vest, there it is from France. It's old school, but it still works. It gets the job done. My compress sport shorts, which I have never worn yet. I haven't worn yet. There's their logo right there. And I believe they're, yeah, they're based in Switzerland, I do believe. Very, very lightweight. Probably more of an ultra running short, but uh, it's about 60 degrees in Denver today, so we're gonna give it a shot. The flip belt, of course, the pole for filming for all of you the fixed new gimbal ill i cannot wait to try that out and then jaybird jaybird headphones for my audiobook pleasure of listening the gopro 7 yep i have not upgraded to gopro 8 maybe someday i don't know the gopro 7 though still works just fine and then last but not least the polar vantage v oh sunglasses sunglasses oh yeah there we go sunglasses and yes the asics gel nimbus light all right let's lace it up
cutting the run short. I picked up Seth at the park. Yeah, Seth, how you doing? Good. You doing good? Yeah, you playing baseball? Yeah. With your cousins? Yeah, and we played with the dogs. And you played with the dogs? All right. About, you know, around six miles, 10K. I bet it's about 8.45 a mile. There it is on your screen. Nice and easy. I'm a little tired after yesterday's uh, 13. What's that, Seth? So, Papa, um, the first one um, had a ball and, like, sat in, like, um, and it was like there was, like, a dog bat, but not a real bat. And it had a thing, and, it, and we would put the ball in it, and we would throw it. And mine was the highest throws than all of them. Good job. And the other one, we were petting them and walking. Here we go, it's time to register for the 2020 New York City Marathon. I'll explain in the studio my game plan and thought process as to why I'm gonna go back to New York once again. And so I gotta claim my entry. Uh, all right, here we go, we're diving in right now. This is exciting times, exciting times. All right, oh man, there it is, number 50, number 50. Okay, I gotta sign in here, one second. They don't give it away. I'll tell you that much. They it's, it's a pretty penny to race this race, but that's okay. Projected pace. Hmm. It's official. There we go. Just head on out. Come on. There we go. All right, it is up on the wall. My first ever uh, metal hanger. I've never owned like a, an official metal hanger. And listen, I'm not crazy into metals, you know, finisher metals, except for the ones where it's like a really, really special memory, like the New York City Marathon, which I'll, I'll come back to in a minute. So anyway, I'm gonna reserve the really special medals that mean a lot to me uh, for the metal hanger. I realize there's no way all of the medals could fit on there, so the rest of them are back up in the rafters here in the studio. For example, Amsterdam is gonna hang up here. Uh, the Pikes Peak Ascent last year where I took second place, like that was a special one. The World Mountain Running Championships. And yes, the New York City Marathon 2019. But now it's official going back 2020 to New York City to race through the five boroughs on November 1st, okay? November 1st, 2020. Um, because of my time that I ran in New York last year, I get an auto entry. So that I feel, you know, even though I realize like running Amsterdam and then running New York City, I knew that if I do like I, that, what you know, you don't do that. You don't do back to back marathons like that. But because I did that and I ran a decent time in New York, 224 something, it gets me an auto entry for this year. And who knows? Uh, okay. Why go back though? Uh, I will say one of my new I'd say life goals is to run the six major marathons around the world. Tokyo, Berlin, London, New York, uh, Boston, and Chicago. So uh, there's six of them, at least at this point. I've heard rumors they might add a seventh. Who knows? We'll see if that happens. But anyway, so New York is, you know, off the list. I've already done it. But the reason I'm going back is a couple different reasons. First of all, I want to race the course fresh and really fit. I was fit last year, of course. But I wasn't, I wasn't that fresh, having just raced Amsterdam um, two weeks before. So I was not fresh. So I want to go back to New York and go faster. And my goal is to run fast at the Hamburg Marathon this spring, submit that time to New York, uh, and then basically <laughs> negotiate my way into the sub-elite Cat, uh, sub elite corral. Remember at the New York City Marathon, I had to dodge and juke and jive. I ended up in 36th place overall, but I started like 500 people back in the corral. And so that first mile was just complete insanity. So my goal is to run fast in Hamburg, 
really, you know, as fast as I can and then submit that time so I can get a better placement in the corrals. So that's one reason I want to go back. Second reason is New York. You know the story of my mom, uh, but she's a native New Yorker, okay? She's, she comes from a very large family in New York, upstate New York, and most of them live in the greater New York City area and upstate New York near Albany. And so I grew up in New York in the summer times. Like I grew up in Colorado, but my second home is really New York. I mean, I would do water skiing and, and tubing on the Hudson River, and I'd go skiing up in Vermont in the wintertime and go to Yankee games down in the Bronx with my uncles because they're all Yankee fans. And so anyway, New York has a really special place in my life, and I just love the culture of the city so true love and i and the boys we're all coming out all right so we're gonna do a group run again in central park and uh yeah anyway and the goal so anyway i was 30 uh, one more point i just remembered is 36th place but i was the 13th i can't believe this but i was the 13th american and i was in no man's land for like from like mile 15 basically to mile to the end like for the last uh, 10, 11 miles, I was really running solo. So my goal again is, I don't know, somehow figure out a way to find, remember what I was talking about, um, packing up in marathon races, like that's a great race strategy. I wanna find that pack of runners, but I guess anyway, I just don't wanna be in no man's land again. So there we go, last uh, medal to go up on the medal hanger is gonna be the 2019 medal, there we go. Again, shout out to the gentleman in, in Canada for the metal hanger. It's up on the wall. Okay, vlog's not done. Going inside. I'll get you the question of the day in there. Gonna go do all the little things, all the physical therapy so that I make sure I end up on the starting line in Hamburg healthy so I can get a faster uh, entry for New York City. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. And I must say, I love the studio. It's looking pretty, pretty fly, if you know what I mean. Looking pretty fly in here. All right, here we go. You gonna put that in the trash? Yeah. Uh oh. Boom boom. Boom boom. Oh yeah. This is Papa's slant board. Good job. I've got a spotter. Good job. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. He's a spotter. Michael! Ben. I know my way around a kitchen sink. I'm not afraid. A little elbow grease. In high school, I washed dishes at the Buffalo Bar and Grill for, I think it was two and a half, maybe three years. It was a lot, I did a lot of dishes in high school, so, but it, it paid pretty good, it paid pretty good. And uh, so, you gotta start somewhere, you gotta start somewhere. Okay, we are closing the vlog out here in the kitchen. Family's going to bed right now, I gotta go to bed soon. Question of the day, how was your race this weekend? Or how was your long run? And if you did a long run, how long was it? Where was it? Well, how was the vertical? If you, if you raced, what was the distance? Actually, I think uh, I'm gonna do better, everyone, posting metal mondays on the facebook group and page and also on twitter some mondays i forget to do it but i'll try and do better so you can share your medals that you're receiving around the world at all these amazing races sound good sound good all right thanks for being here new york city marathon oh there it is registered ready to rock and roll tossing it back on the right yes of course to the new york city marathon blog which many of you have already seen but if you haven't seen it that'll be on the right hand side and on the left, we'll toss it back, you know what, to yesterday's vlog talking about the carbon fiber plate running shoes. Lots of people watching that one. I love it. I love it. All right. Seek beauty. Work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.